Today, I'm taking some of Peachy Baby's best-selling slimes and making giant versions of them. And I have a little surprise for you guys at the end, so make sure to stick around. Let's get into it. We're starting off with none other than Blueberry Cow. This is an OG slime. It's one of the first slimes ever made here at Peachy Babies, and it's very special. It's made of a cloud texture, and it has some nice little blue spots on it. But I'm not gonna lie, I haven't replicated a slime in a long time, so I really wanna try to get the colors exactly like the ones on this one. So we're working with a giant base of cloud slime. And you know what? Let's just place it on the table. Oh yeah. <laughs> this looks like a giant chocolate bar, but not for long because we have to make these spots. So I think I'm just gonna slice one third of it. Ugh, dude, I already know this is gonna be an arm workout. Okay, I'm gonna place this on the side for now. And let's see, let's, let's do some color theory. It looks like these spots are like a light blue, but it also has a hint of purple. I'm thinking some sky blue and a little dot of violet will do the trick. We have to add just the right amount. Do a little just like that with the purple here. We can't get too crazy. Maybe like just a little dot. That feels right. All right, let's mix this up. You know, I really wish that mixer back there actually worked because I would put this slime in there right now. That's a secret between you and me. It's just there for aesthetics. But you know what? That's the whole point of this video is to challenge myself to make a giant slime because we're always working with tiny sizes. We got to challenge ourselves once in a while. This is my morning workout. I'm going to be so jacked at the end of this video. Oh, you know what? There's this technique that I learned. Aaron and I were like trying, we were working with a giant pizza, right? And I like, I tried this one thing where I just kind of extended the slime like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is gonna help a ton. I will say, so far the color is not there. I know it still needs some more mixing, but something's telling me I already need to add more purple. So maybe like a little something like that. We're only on slime number one and I'm already super tired. <laughs> okay, I think this looks good. Yeah, honestly, that's super close. It's almost exactly just like it. So we need to make this slime look like a cow. I'm gonna get this giant piece of white slime. I'm just gonna roll it out with a nice little spin. All right. It's getting somewhere. I feel like I'm performing slime surgery. It's looking a little better. Let's give it a nice little squish. <laughs> I think this looks good. Let's start adding our little patches. I love all of the cow themed slimes here at Peach Babies. They're all super unique in their own way. We have like strawberry cow, I mean blueberry cow, lavender cow. I'm sure there's so many others I don't even know about, but they all have some beautiful patches. So get creative with the shapes here. I kind of want to create a nice little patch right here. And you know what? We have some big patches in there, but we we also have some tiny ones. That's a good little patch. I would love to own a cow one day. Just hanging out with the cows, that'd be so nice. Oh, you know what? I'm also gonna make a really, really tiny one right here. Oh yeah. And then we have a giant patch right over here. Dude, this is looking great. I think it just needs a couple more on the back. So let's give it a little spin. <laughs> it's a little cow burrito. Let's start adding a few more patches. I think just one more, like right here. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Dude, look at that, amazing. All right, the next thing that we have to do is put it in our giant container. And then we can add all the nice little sprinkles and charms. But here we have our giant container. This is where it's gonna get pretty tricky <laughs> because I don't wanna ruin this beautiful masterpiece. Okay, I think what I did last time is I like put my arms through it. I don't know, this is always the hardest part. Hopefully it works. Oh yeah, <laughs> that looks kind of good. Let's just smush it down. I think that looks pretty good. I will say this part right here <laughs> got a little messed up, but that's okay. This looks fantastic, but it definitely needs some little sprinkles. So let's go to Charmville. Okay, we're at the wonderful Charmville, the best place in the universe. What do we need? Okay, so Blueberry Cow has a lot of cute little blueberries, which we have here in our fruit section. This is the coolest section in Charmville. And it has like these little squishy blueberries so let's add some of those to our cup. Now I know that it also has our little famous cow, but I have a little surprise for that instead. So let's just grab some of the sprinkles. It has some like light blue circles, I believe. I don't know, I should have brought the slime with me. <laughs> I'm kind of guessing it. Okay, so I'm gonna add all of the little blueberries into our cup. And now we need some of the little blue circles. So we have some right here. I think it has this. I don't know, I should have double checked. But I think I'm right. That's good. Now what else does this slime have? Oh, you know what? I think it has also some of these blue sprinkles. Okay, we have what we need. Let's go add it to our giant slime. 
Okay, we're back from Charm City, and it looks like I got <laughs> all the charms wrong. We were right about the circles, but I got the smaller version of them, and we are making a giant slime, which is so ridiculous. But you know what we did get right are the blueberries, and that's what really matters, right? It's a blueberry cow. So let's just add it to our slime. Okay, let's add some of these little sprinkles. It's like a giant cupcake. Dude, this would make an amazing birthday cake. Like if someone just showed up with this. Oh my God. Okay, let's add some of these blueberries. Maybe one is right down there. This looks so cute. Honestly, I'm really proud of myself. Okay, but it needs our final touch, the cow. This is a giant slime, so I have something very special. Our cow! Wow, he looks so beautiful. Look at him. Hyro did an amazing job with this clay right here. And I think last time I gave him a name, so we need to do that again. I'm gonna name him Patch. It's super cute, you have to admit. That's a cute name. Here you go, Patch. This is your home forever in the giant slime world. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's also really giant. Okay, this is our final result. Here is our regular size blueberry cow compared to our giant blueberry cow. And I think we did a wonderful job. I wish we had a giant label, but you know, I'm very happy with the result. Let's move on to our next giant slime. The next slime that we're gonna make is lavender axolotl. You guys, this is an amazing slime. It smells incredible. And for this one, I already know we're just gonna need to work with a little bit of our violet here. But since it's all one color, this is gonna require a lot of mixing. And my arms are already sore from the last one. So you know what? Let's go to our best friend, the mixer. Okay, we're back from the mixer and I think that we got the perfect color. Yeah, this looks spot on. So now let's get all of the slime into our giant container. This one's gonna be much easier. I'm gonna grab giant chunks of it. I love snow fizz textures because they're very sizzly, crunchy. They're really good for ASMR if you're into that. I also love this slime specifically because of its beautiful color and the scent. It has a very calming lavender scent. And also, this is one of our many axolotl slimes. I mean, we have emo axolotl, alien axolotl, baby axolotl, like there's so many. We even just came out with a new one called rainbow axolotl, which I really like. And I think this one is probably one of my top three because of how nice it looks. But here we have our nice container of slime. Now we need to take another little trip to Charmville and get all of our little lavender sprinkles. Let's go. Okay, this time I actually know what to get. <laughs> For the last slime, I kind of winged it. But you know, we're at Charmville. This slime had some like little lavender looking flowers. So let me see here. Hmm, I'm in the flower section. That's the thing about Charmville is there's just so many things everywhere. It's kind of overwhelming. All right, for now, I'm just gonna get the sprinkles because I know it for sure has those. It has some little lavender circles. Oh, here we go. Perfect, the right size this time. And it also has some white and light purple sprinkles. Get some of the light ones. I'm not gonna mess it up this time. Some of the white ones. Nice, nice, okay. What I know is in the slime for sure is some of these lavender stems. So I'm gonna grab a ton of those. And now when I'm ever doubting myself on where things are in Charmville, I always just ask. Oh, Sophia, you know like the little lavender flowers that are in the lavender axolotl? Yeah. Do you know where they are? We got help. Yes, okay. Sophia came in clutch. I'm gonna grab a ton of these. Okay, we have everything we need. Let's go assemble our slime. And by the way, oh my gosh, let's see what Hyro is working on right now. Hyro! Oh, hello, Anna. Hello. I'm on Poe. Oh my gosh, cool. <laughs> Everybody say thank you, Hyro. He makes wonderful plays for all of our videos. Thank you so much, Hyro. Of course. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we're back. So we're gonna start off with the lavender leaves. I definitely wanna add a bunch of leaves all over the place. Let's add all of our little sprinkles. We have some flowers, some little little circles. Okay, this slime looks amazing, but it's missing our most important thing, the iconic axolotl. Here he is. Oh my gosh, look at his face. He looks so cute. He also smells really good. Oh my gosh. All right, let's place him on our giant slime here. He also needs a name. Dan, what do you think? Her name. Her name, her name is what? Mikola. Mikola, wow. Dan is super quick with the names here. I love it. She is beautiful. Here is Mikola on our giant slime. Let's see, let's compare. Oh, okay, okay. Apparently, Mikola is Michael's girlfriend. I bet they have a wonderful axolotl love story going on. This slime looks amazing. Look at all of the details or axolotl. It's so iconic. It's 
beautiful. This next slime that we're gonna make is probably one of my favorite slimes. And when it came out, it rose to the top of the leaderboard and it has stayed there because it's an amazing slime. You guys know it, you guys love it. We're gonna make sour gummy bears. This is a beautiful slime and it's also a clay kit, which is very exciting because we're gonna be mixing giant clays into the slime. It's made of an icy texture, so it's kind of like our cloud dough, but it's a bit more wet. It's a very, very fun texture. And it looks like it's a nice teal color. It's gonna require a lot of different blues and greens But just like the last one this is one solid color and you guys I'm so tired of hand mixing. So let's use the mixer. Okay, so I don't exactly know What goes into this slime to make the right color? I'm gonna add a little bit of everything Let's add some turquoise watercolor Maybe some a little bit of neon bright blue a little bit of yellow and we definitely need our green Hopefully this gets the right color. Let's go find out Honestly, the color is very different, but it's very close. I love how this looks though. It's so pretty. Check out this drizzle, ready? Whoa, it's gorgeous. All right, but we need to put it inside our giant container. What's cool about this texture is that it's going to kind of lighten up as you play with it. So it's really nice seeing it change colors, but then you let it sit for a bit and it gets back to its original color. So right now I will say it's looking a bit darker, but it'll definitely lighten up. And it's honestly my favorite color. So I'm really happy about that. Also, what's gonna make this slime look like the iconic sour gummy bears is glitter. We're gonna need a lot of glitter because that's what makes it look like a sour candy. We've been eating a lot of candy here at the Peachy Babies warehouse because the other day I had to make a candy video and I filled up one of these containers with a bunch of candy and now we're all addicted to sugar. It's actually quite bad, but I love some good candy. Okay, it's done. Now let's go get some glitter and charms. Okay, we need our iconic sour looking glitter. I don't even know exactly which one is on our sour gummy bears. This one right here looks like the one. As for our charms, we have a colorful sprinkle mix and a ton of little gummy bears. So I know that for the sprinkles, we have some blue, that in a cup. It also has some pink. I believe it also has some green in it. All right, that looks good. We have so many new charms in Charmville that I'm so excited about. I mean, I love this guy, first of all. What is he? <laughs> Someone please comment down below what this guy is. But yeah, we have so many really cool charms. I always spend so much time here at Charmville just looking at them. Found them. Some nice little gummy bears. Okay, we have everything we need. Let's go add it to our slime. Woo! We're back from Charmville. Let's top off this slime. You know, we have to sour it up first. So let's add some of this glitter. I love adding a bunch of glitter. <laughs> okay, that's enough. And now, of course, we have our wonderful guests of the party, the gummy bears. They're all showing up. This looks so pretty. Recently, my favorite candy has been Nerds Clusters. I think they're the best. Comment down below what's your favorite candy. Maybe it's gummy bears. Now, let's add some of these little sprinkles. We have all sorts of colors. Just notice it's a little bit different <laughs> to the original one, but that's okay. That's what makes this slime unique, because I made it, and I gave it a little twist. And now, of course, this isn't a clay kit without our sour gummy bears. Look at these guys. They look amazing. They're like these giant popsicles, and they're gonna look so good on our giant slime. I want them to look exactly like this one, so we're gonna start off with our green one right in the center. And you know, this one right here is Jesse, because his favorite color is green. This one's gonna be me. And this one is Dan, because I know he loves... Actually, no, nah, his favorite color is yellow, but he's blue today. And you know, this is very wholesome because now our slime has a story, three friends just making YouTube videos. I love when slimes have a story. That's what makes them special. And look at that guys. We finished our giant slime. It looks wonderful. I love the size of it. I mean, it's giant, but I will say when we got these containers, we noticed there were some that were twice the size of this one. So if you guys get this video to 5,000 likes, I'll make an even bigger slime because I would love to do that one day. But I did tell you guys that there was gonna be a giant surprise at the end. And you've been very patient, so now it's time to squish all of our slimes together. It's finally time! Let's squish our slimes. First though, I'm gonna take the sticks out of this clays because I don't wanna hurt myself. 
All right, now we place them on our slime. And I know that there's also a stick inside of this cow, so <laughs> I'm sorry, cow, but I'm gonna have to break your head. Oh, <laughs> here we have our headless cow, our gummy bears, and our axolotl. Let's mix it all, starting with the gummy bears. Jesse, Dan, and Anna squished into a slime. All right, now let's squish our Mikola. <laughs> Dude, Michael's gonna be so mad, wondering where his girlfriend went. Now she's living in the bottom of a slime. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Finally, our cow, Patch. We love Patch. You know, he lived a good life. Goodbye, Patch. We love you. Oh my gosh. It feels so nice. I love how clay feels in my hands. It's just so satisfying to squish. But now, I wanna empty the containers and put all of the slime on top of the table and just squish it and mix it all together. Let's start with this one in the middle. Whoa. All right, let's do our lavender axolotl. I'm very excited about mixing all of these slimes together because I just love how it feels when you mix different textures together. And I mean, we're working with snow fizz, icy, and cloud. So I feel like it's gonna make a nice, inflatable, drizzly, thick slime. Finally, our blueberry cow. Oh, it's so heavy. I kinda wanna make a giant stack. I feel like that'll be the best way to mix it. Ready? And finally, this is kind of like our frosting on the cake. Look at that, it's massive. It's time for my favorite part. Let's punch it. Ah. <laughs> this is so satisfying, you know, after a long day of work, it's a workout. It also just feels very satisfying. Oh my gosh, this is so much slime. I'm gonna grab a chunk here and I kinda wanna see what the final texture will be. But I really like the colors as they're mixing together. It's turning into a nice light purple with some blue streaks in there. And the texture, oh my gosh, it feels really good. Cause it's like that soft drizzly vibe of the cloud, but then there's like a bit of crunchiness in it. And it turned into a nice light blue color. There you have it. This is all that's left from the clay. Patch, I'm so sorry it had to end like this. Ah, <laughs> his little face. Well, that's it for our mega slime. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!